Welcome back. This is Stikers Chats at Digital DNA. I am delighted to be joined by Peter and Jack from Atlas slash Stronger Mobile. Talk to us about Stronger Mobile. What are you up to at the moment? Yeah, so we launched Stronger Mobile about three weeks ago. We've got about 10,000 downloads on it. So it's just a workout tracker, um, yeah. but at the end of the workouts, it converts everything that people have done into fun and relatable items. So let's say you've done an 80 kilogram bench press, yeah. that'll change that into bench pressing a giant panda. So we're the first really to do that. Um, we've just got a random collection of items. We've got lifetime challenges people can try and lift, you know, an Easter Island head. Um, so we're really trying to gamify the fitness process there and make it really viral and shareable. I, because I'm guessing straight away, like, and I know we talked about this slightly before we went on live, that this is TikTok, this is Instagram, this is the viral stuff. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. It's like, we we posted a sort of a teaser video of just the cards themselves, of just like the conversions, and it got 700,000 views. I think we got 12,000 followers straight off the bat. It was, it was posted on Saturday, 11 a.m., then by the Sunday, we had 10,000 followers. Like, it's, it was yeah. crazy, just growth. Um, Amazing. So anything that gamifies, obviously, that kind of fitness experience is going to be good, and especially, I'm guessing, for younger people as well that are maybe doing fitness yeah, for the first like, time. Like, fit, like... When, you, when it boils down to it, tracking workouts is boring, yeah. so people don't stick to it. It's like I am chore. nodding as if I know what the, you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> it's, like a chore, it's like a chore, like, yeah. but you need people to do it to progress. So yeah. if you can offer a way of gamifying it, people will stick to it more, they'll see more progress. You know, they're fr They'll be able to join in with their friends and yeah. it's kind of a win-win. They get more fun and they get the progress. Yeah. The progress of going to the gym as well. So where, where have you guys come from? Like, what's your, what's your backgrounds? Where, what, you know, like, how have you got to this point within three weeks you've got 10,000 downloads? To me, that's really exciting. Yeah, um, so we actually all went to school together. Um, went to school and we went our separate ways, went to university. Um, and then during the pandemic, we kind of thought we ought to get into a startup. Um, and our initial idea was for a smart adjustable dumbbell and that's still something we are doing. We kind of have two products really on the go at the moment. Um, so we got together about a year ago and went through Catalyst co-founders yeah. program, a few other competitions um, and we've been using that just to fund our development. So we've been fully bootstrapped so far and the app launch was really, um, it's one of those things that it looked like an overnight success but we've been kind of working on it, you know, ourselves for yeah. a few months. So it was, it's really exciting to get the same validation and like the same to see people have the same belief in the product that we did, you know, yeah. over those months of working, you know, and you know, when you have doubts, you know, is this really worth yeah. it? See all of a sudden the market just go, yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. So downloads, 10,000 in three weeks is great. Where's the commercialization? Where do you see obviously the growth and the, and the, and the yeah. kind of scale and the money coming from it? So obviously we want to just keep growing the sort of the social platform yeah. and get more users, but within the next two weeks, we're going to enter just kind of like a freemium model. So the base app's free. Yeah. Um, but we want to have like an optional premium subscription of like four ninety nine a month, and that'll just offer users a few extra features, maybe make a few features slightly yeah. better, and like we're kind of aiming for maybe like a three percent conversion on that. Yeah. Um, so that'll hopefully get some revenue coming yeah. in, and then we'll be able to use that revenue to fund, say, our dumbbell yeah. manufacturing and just sort of build from there. I'm just thinking straight away of obviously a great connection I've got over in London with the Sports Tech Hub. And anything which is obviously getting young people to kind of better engage with fitness and obviously then using like social media channels and that kind of like gamified element would be really exciting. So I'll have to do an intro to those guys over yes, there. Yes, definitely. Oh, yeah. um, and like obviously like, I suppose from a localized perspective, apart from co-founders, which is an awesome kind of platform obviously for you guys to go together, who else and what else have you been doing obviously? Who else have you connected with? What do you need help with right now? Uh-huh. Um, so we've been working with Queen's University quite a bit, um, so we won their Dragon's Den program yeah. and that was excellent. We've been able to like, uh, get in contact with a lot of really um, exciting people through that um, and the networking opportunities there have been fantastic. Um, obviously Catalyst is great as well. Um, we've been working with Invest in AI. Um, Invest in AI helps support us with um, salary support which yeah. lets Jack work full time on app development. Amazing. Um, Alongside that, then we also got a tech start with a concept grant. Yeah. So, like Northern Ireland, really is the perfect place if you're yeah. in any sort of startup thing. Like the ecosystem is just fantastic. There's so many people that are keen yeah. to help. We've got the right contacts and are really keen to make introductions. Yeah. Even yeah. like yourself, Alistair. Yeah. yeah, no, thank you. I mean, obviously, like something like DNA, which has grown over the last few years, like the the, the platform that it enables someone like I can see John over there from Crop Safe in the background and. Mm -hmm. Thinking about Crop Safe's journey, I'm sure obviously alongside 10, 15 other things within Northern Ireland, 
the ecosystem, like something like digital DNA, has been a, a kind of stepping stone. And I think the benefit of the Northern Irish ecosystem is it's not a competition. Mm. We're all there to kind of help. Yeah. You know, that's Peter what we and felt, Jack. Yeah. You know, get to that next stage, and that's really important to everyone here. And it's because we all give a shit. You know, like being frank about obviously what happens here, and we're passionate about the place. So, like, what what do you need help with right now? What can anyone like listening right now? What could they do apart from obviously downloading what you're doing and kind of checking it out? Yeah, well, obviously that's um, what we're looking for at the moment. Um, as many downloads as possible. People really spreading the word to their friends. Um, we're also kind of at a stage now where we're considering taking on board you know, outside investment. Yeah. Um, we're at a point where with our dumbbell, um, we've got a great prototype. Um, we just need a few more iterations on that to really have it perfect. Yeah. Um, and we think we're going to be one of the first products to market with a one kilogram weight resolution. Yeah. Um, so really we're looking towards um, either funding that ourselves through our app revenue yeah. or through uh, investors. So we'd love people to talk to anyone that's, you know, perhaps built out a hardware yeah. product before, you know, can give advice on, you know, where to source things, you know, how to set up supply chains yeah. and, you know, make sure we can really deliver a great customer experience at scale. Man alive, doing two things at the same way is, is amazing, right? So congratulations to you both. Just give us a little elevator pitch on that dumbbell, just so you, like anyone listening better understands what that is exactly as well. Mm -hmm. um, so the dumbbell weighs anywhere between four and 30 kilograms in one kilogram increments. Yeah. So currently it's a manually operated engineering prototype, but our idea is to turn that into a fully electronic version and create the Peloton for strength so that people can get a full workout from home. The idea is it will be connected up to an app and you'll be able to say, I've got three days to train this week, I can give 40 minutes. We'll create a routine perfect for you and for your needs. You'll be able to do it and learn, even if it's your first time doing a fitness workout, we'll be able to tell you exactly what to do and make sure you get the progress that you desire uh, without having to go attend the gym. And you know, you're not gonna have to pay for that, you know, the gym membership, you don't have to pay for a personal trainer. You're not gonna have to face the social pressure of going to the gym and not knowing what to do. So we're really trying to make it as convenient as possible for people to do fitness at a time that sits there. Amazing. The Peloton of fitness. Peloton strength. Of strength, yeah. of strength yeah. sorry, yeah. No, so, sorry, fitness. <laughs> the Peloton of strength. I think we keep an eye on that as well. So, like, obviously, this is a two, two businesses in one, really, in a way. Yeah. And Jack, Peter, congratulations for what you've achieved so far with Atlas and Stronger Mobile. So, we look forward to kind of tracking your journey over the next 12 months or so and look forward to hopefully you coming back and giving some inspiration to the next startups that are here 12 months from now. So, uh, we'll be back soon with Stikers Chats.